Hello friends, so welcome again to another session on gems of jump tree and today we are going to discuss another one very beautiful theorem and it's called Stewart's theorem and uh, this was given by a Scottish mathematician Matthew Stewart in the year 1746. So this theorem is there since 1746 and you will later see that this theorem also is a general theorem for theorems like Apollonius theorem and uh, which uh, Apollonius theorem is usually taught in grade 10 uh, geometry curriculum. Now let's try to prove this theorem and before that let's first state what this theorem is. So it's it talks about a triangle ABC where AX is a CVN. You know what a CVN is? A CVN is a point uh, sorry a line segment joining a vertex to the opposite side of a triangle at any given point uh, on the opposite side of the triangle. Now it's given over here that the length of this CVN AX, if you see in the diagram, it's P. Okay, and uh, this CVN is dividing the seg uh, the side BC into two parts, one of length M and another of length N. And you know that opposite side to vertex A will be small A. Okay, and uh, now it's uh, the theorem says that A times P square plus MN within brackets is equal to b square m plus c square n. Now before we start, I'll tell you a, a small trick or mnemonic so to say to remember this and it goes like this. So uh, you can, uh, you know the mnemonic goes like this. A man and his dad put a, put a bomb in the sink. A man and his dad put a bomb in the sink so how does it you know relate to this one so if you see a man and his dad right so hence if you see here this thing is uh uh let's say you know instead of p if it is let's say in the usual uh diagram it is denoted as d let's say then what happens the same theorem becomes a d square plus mn is equal to b square m plus c square n right so a man, so this is the man and his dad, so like that, put a bomb in a sink. So that is how you can remember this theorem, right? This is a good mnemonic. Anyway, so let's try and prove this theorem. So we will be using something called cosine rule in this case to prove this very, very easily. So what I'm doing is I'm considering angle AXC to be theta. And this is nothing but 180 degrees minus theta by linear pair, isn't it? So what can I say about B? So if you see, if I write B square, what is B square guys? B square in or rather in triangle AXC, in triangle AXC, B square will be equal to D square, right? Instead of P, I can, I'm now denoting it as D. So whichever way it is, you know, okay. So D square plus N square and then minus, minus, 2dn cosine of theta right and similarly if you write c square so c square is d square plus m square minus 2d times m times cosine of 180 degrees minus theta now cos of cos or cosine of 180 degree minus theta is minus cos theta so hence this relationship becomes c square is equal to d square plus m square plus 2 d m cos of theta right let us say this is equation number one and let us say this is equation number two now what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply uh, m into one and then i'm adding n into two Okay, so what would I get? In the LHS, you'll get MB square plus NC square, isn't it? In the LHS. And in the right hand side, you will get um, M times D square plus M times N square minus 2 DMN cos theta plus N times D square plus NM square plus 2dmn cos theta. So clearly this term and this term will get cancelled out. 
so in the rhs if you take uh, uh let's say what is common in this so if you see uh, one uh, m is common um right so what yeah so what i can do is i can take few common things here so let's say uh, i am writing yeah so let's say i am taking m common in the first case so you'll get m common d square plus mn and in the second case n common d square plus mn that means this is nothing but m plus n times d square plus mn and what is m plus n guys m plus n is a so simply a times d square plus mn so this is what the theorem is isn't it so we could prove this now as i told you uh, there is a special case and that's called apollonius theorem what is that so the same theorem becomes apollonius theorem yeah apollonius theorem how do you spell it it is a p o and double l o n i u s apollonius theorem okay so what is this so in this case in the apollonius this uh, apollonius theorem's case the cv and d becomes median so d is e is equal to a median okay then what will happen this will be this will mean m is equal to n is equal to a by 2 simply so hence uh, if you see what will this theorem become so hence you can write a b square by 2 plus a by 2 c square is equal to a times a square by 4 because d sorry not uh, sorry sorry d is d yeah <coughs> so it is d square plus mn is a by 2 into a by 2 isn't it let me just write it here now right so hence what will it become this will be equal to so if you see uh, in the lhs again it will be um a by 2 b square plus c square and in the rhs uh what is it it is a times uh so a one a will get cancelled so hence let it be like that so d square plus a square by 4 correct so this a and this a will go so hence if i multiply the entire thing by 4 i will get 2 b square plus c square is equal to 4 d square okay plus a square or the same thing can be written now as b square plus c square is equal to 2d square plus a square by 2 and again the same thing can be written as b square plus c square is equal to 2 times d square and plus i can write a by 2 whole square isn't it if you see this is same now what is a by 2 a by 2 is nothing but half of bc so hence the same thing can be written in this form as well this is called apollonius theorem okay so this is uh, one case of stewart's theorem and what is the mnemonic a man and his dad a man and his dad put a bomb in the sink okay this was given by stewart in 1746